Understanding, a dead cert, an English phrase explained. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, a dead cert. This expression is not only interesting but also quite useful in various contexts. Whether you're a language learner or just curious about English idioms, this video will shed light on what this phrase means and how to use it correctly. So, let's get started. A dead cert is an informal British expression. It's short for a dead certainty, which means something is absolutely certain or sure to happen. This phrase is often used in contexts where the outcome of an event is not officially decided but is considered to be unquestionably guaranteed. For example, if someone says, it's a dead cert that the team will win tonight, they strongly believe that the team's victory is assured. The term, a dead cert, has its roots in horse racing. It was originally used to describe a horse that was so likely to win a race that it was considered a dead certainty. Over time, the phrase has transcended its sporting origins and is now used in various everyday situations. To help you understand how to use this phrase, here are a few examples. 1. Confidence in outcome. With his skills and experience, it's a dead cert that he'll get the job. 2. Predicting success. Their new product is a dead cert for market success. 3. Assurance in planning. Considering the weather forecast, it's a dead cert we'll have to reschedule the event. Notice how the phrase adds a sense of strong assurance to each statement. While a dead cert is unique, there are other expressions with similar meanings. Phrases like a sure thing, a safe bet, or a sure bet convey a similar sense of certainty and are often used interchangeably in English. And that's a wrap on a dead cert. We hope this video has been informative and has given you a clear understanding of this interesting English phrase. Remember, language learning is a journey filled with exciting discoveries, and idiomatic expressions like this one add color to your conversations. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the wonders of the English language.